Okay, Ben. In the race for governor, it was Gretchen Whitmer's turn to roll out her running mate. She chose Garland Gilchrist, a Detroit native. And as Nick Monticelli shows us, he's a familiar face in local politics. Garland Gilchrist is a name that many in Detroit or Metro Detroit may remember. He's worked on some large projects and also made a run at the city clerk's office here downtown, losing by just a few thousand votes. <laughs> the news leaked out a few days early, but this morning it was official as Gretchen Whitmer named Garland running mate. And it turns out Wayne County Executive Warren Evans played a role in the selection process. It was a significant process. We vetted a number of people. Gilchrist is a name you may remember. He ran for Detroit City Clerk last year and lost to Janice Winfrey by about 1,400 votes. He is a native of Detroit and is married with twin four-year-olds. He worked for Microsoft in Seattle and is currently the director of U of M Center for Social Media Responsibility. He says his agenda perfectly aligns with Whitmer's. We have so many infrastructure problems and challenges that we need to fix, like these roads, like our water systems, like our schools, making sure they're up to date. Garland Gilchrist is the kind of running mate I was looking for. Smart, dedicated, a true public servant. I'm ready to roll up my sleeves to work alongside Gresham right. Women to make build a better Michigan and make this state what we dream about. Make this state that my four-year-old children won't want to leave to go pursue opportunity because they can get it right here at home. Gresham, thank you so much for inviting me. And let's get to work. And Gilchrist is expected to be named the nominee by the Michigan Democratic Party at their convention this weekend. In downtown Detroit, Nick Monticelli, Local 4. Hey, Nick and Bill Schutte picked his running mate last week. Former state representative and current Kent County clerk Lisa Posthumous-Lyons. She's from the west side of the state.